Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. I haven't been recording for a while, working on some projects at home, but I don't know, it's been too many days. I need to get back in and see how my Ostrovians were doing. <laughs> um, this is pretty much right where we left off. The harvest was just beginning, and looks like these guys have begun. We've got, what, six that have shown up over here, six extras. Over here, we've got maybe 16. So, a lot of folks over there now. Uh, there's probably 10-ish there, and 20. This one's going to get done really quick. Harvesting is okay to take our time. We don't have to race to get that done, so long as it's done before snow. Sowing or planting, that's a race. Because the sooner you get it into the ground, the longer it has to grow, the more you get out of it. At least that's the way it should be, and the way I'm assuming it's working. Anyway, we last episode were working through repairing the charcoal system, and still sitting at fifty thousand. We've got six active um, charcoal piles over there, and two over here. So this one is going to not run as efficiently as that one, and that's probably fine. I mean, it's it's a supplement to what I'm going to call the main uh, charcoal camp over here. How are we doing otherwise? Uh, 2,000, 6,000, 7,000, no, 2,000. There you are, 24, 0 with 600 coming in. So we're bringing in quickly. What's at the camp? The camp is 5 dudes and 10 logs, 1 coming in and 13,000 firewood and nothing's being called. So all of these that are getting firewood, just you. You are coming from somewhere else. Okay, this camp is gone. This camp here <clears throat> is where that's probably coming from. And no logs, three guys that are doing what? There are no more red X's. Over here. Okay, we have red X's over here. I was using them to clear out some different trees around town. Okay. So, we could go... Well, we're in August. That's why we're, we're low. But we could leave them running. And we, with a crew of five when... Yeah, when harvest season is done. And just set them loose. Taking out random trees here and there. That, you know, the trees that are growing right in the middle of our roads and let that be their job because these guys are just too far away and they're going to be... That's right, this is a second camp. Oh, that's right. I was thinking one camp... I forgot. It's been, you know, it's been a week. So I f was thinking this one camp was feeding two runs. So what have you guys got going on? You've got 17 logs. I had to throttle you back. You finally finished all of your orders out there and now you're just taking out trees here. Which means go out, come back, go out, come back, go out, come back. And that's going to stack up quickly. So once they hit 18, they stop working. So that means what for you guys? You come back in October. So one guy is working in that he's not making firewood. Because he doesn't need to. He's not calling for it. So he's just sitting here. Okay, and you're not happy because you need two people to go chop more trees. Which just means, you know, if I did that, it would go away. It means we have less than 18. Messenger from Marifa. So, that's working fine. You guys make, you guy, make firewood as fast as they're willing to haul it away. Problem is they're not willing to haul it away right now because everybody is harvesting. So once that calms down, which it already is, this one with a full complement of 20 is going to get through theirs real quick, and now these folks are all going to be available again. A bunch of them will probably move over here. Now yeah, we've got a few more over here, a couple more. And hopefully, well, these guys were doing fine. Yeah, they're doing great. It's these guys that need the extra help. And they're filling out too. Look at that. A lot of kids in there. Interesting. A lot of little kids' faces. They can help with the labor jobs. So, little kid, meaning 15 to 18 year olds. So, it's all happening, and a lot of them have off August and September. So, they should then jump into firewood. So, in that case, other than filling up more 
of the charcoal piles that aren't running yet, we now need to get back into the idea of storing some charcoal. Uh, that was this one, and you've got nothing being stored yet. There was a little being stored over here. Nothing. I did put 10,000 back into here. It's slowly coming in. And there's 5,000 sitting over here for the blacksmith. 1,000 is in there. And another 5,000 stored over here, I think. Yeah, 65. So there's plenty of room in the system to absorb charcoal once they start hauling again. Now, what were we doing otherwise? We just finished this guy, and not everybody has moved in. There's a store over here. Oh, that's right, I did put in one store. That's right. I thought I would use it to get rid of some things that tend to rot quickly. So that would be meats. Let's hire somebody. Um, mutton as often or not? Pork, definitely. Beef, I think we've, we've seen beef rot. And so I guess we finish it off, and what am I missing there? Mutton? May as well. Um, I don't know if I want to put sallow in there or not. Mutton, 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 mutton. There you are. And then thinking about things like beetroots and cabbages and carrots. Uh, milk rots pretty fast, but I'd rather that move over toward the dairy. Um... And we have so many peas to get rid of. Yeah, we could do something like that. The fruits would go well too, because they rot quickly, but that they are they're only in town two months out of the year, so no point in and taking up valuable real estate. These two are not gonna have stores in them. At least they're not supposed to. This was gonna be the only one with a store. And we got a, a lady in here who lives over here. That's not too far away. I was Better if somebody right here took the job, but that's fine. All right, so we have two more row houses going in. Apparently, I did a little bit of work, yeah, after the episode. So we got a well there, got a well in here, another well in there, and to be put in. Then we've got a couple of houses out here. That's right, these two. And then we've got enough bricks for the rest of the row houses. We really do. All right, we'll let these two houses go. Carpentry? Let's hold off. Let's go row house. That's right, I got a Marifa waiting for me. I just remembered that. Uh, carpentry, fishing dock. Uh, let's put both the row houses in. Then we'll fill in the rest of it. Yeah, okay. Anyway, Marifa, let's deal with you real quick. What do we even have left to sell? I don't know. You are here. You've got 14 days left. You want to sell to us. How's our wheat? We've got a big harvest coming in. The town is down to almost nothing. And you were wheat. You're plowing. You were barley. Okay. You're hemp. This was a buckwheat. At least I'm thinking it is. Is it already rolled? It might have. So now I'm not sure what there is. Okay. Well, there's a whole bunch in the system. And we're at 25,000 in the treasury. Let's go ahead and buy some of their wheat too, just to supplement and let all of our windmills run and make all of the vodka we can and just have a ball. <laughs> Let's bring in 2,000. Deal. Hemp. We got down to almost nothing. Just keeps them working is all. Let's bring in 1,000 of you. We did harvest our own too, but we clearly ran out so a little supplement might not hurt we're doing good on honey textile broadcloth wow we're doing great okay all those are fine sunflower things to sell to them dry fish yes let's do 1000 deal and bring in 1000 dried fish right there and sunflower oil that's just enough for us. Buckwheat is getting low. It's getting quite low. How much buckwheat got done this year? Did we get a crop in here? Right there. That's. I'm assuming that's what's left of that crop. And even with that, it's already being hauled away. Uh, already not counting. Um, 
buckwheat. Buckwheat would be little buckets of seed, right? I don't know if there's any in there. We may be hurting on buckwheat this year. We may have to bring some in. I have to try to remember that. Okay. So flour to sell. Not right now. Salo to sell. Nope, we're doing pretty good. Chicken eggs, horseshoes, iron to sell. Nope. Metal parts and flax. Flax is still doing great. Okay. So there should be no worry about chicken feed, which is what we use the buckwheat for. There's usually a thousand sitting in all of these, so there's a huge cushion already built up in our chicken coops. Nine something, nine something, and nine something. Okay, so we're fine. I don't know how long 900 would last. It might even give us a year, I don't know. Never thought to, to look at that. You are barley, and if we had to, we could move some barley back in. We're gonna have a glut of that on the market this time, right? Barley is already 15, there's what's left in here. I think you were probably barley. Actually, there's buckwheat showing here, which means it has rolled, that's wheat. Okay, so if it has rolled, then that it was also wheat, that was hemp. Eh? Okay, neither end looks right. Is that what buckwheat looks like before it gets turned into... I don't know. Uh, it's sunflower that is, and potatoes that are the buckets. I guess buckwheat is a, is a grain yet. Okay. Yeah, sunflower that gets turned into these little buckets. That's what I was thinking of for buckwheat. So I guess buckwheat is a wheat. Uh, yeah. And it looks like a wheat. Okay. So with that, stone well is completed. So we're getting in some of these other little projects. We still have... I think five or seven builders going even during harvest season and we're still in the middle of harvest season so once these get done we should see a lot more smoke happening here how much firewood is made it over here 3600 64 so there's enough for one enough for two enough for two and a half log piles here firewood piles you're bringing it in from here you are finally getting to where you should be triggered when you get back. Start turning more logs into firewood. Okay, good. And they're just hauling cart after cart out of there. Um, how are we doing on carts? We have one left here, four left there, and four left there. So we do have enough carts to do what, what, I, what I think we need to do here. Okay, and these are all hired Potential of two people, that's right. Potential of two people during the season they would be doing this work. Let's take you four, since we're having a hard time maintaining this, up two notches in wages. Another well. And, oops, maybe do the same with the other side. Point being, during these months during these months I reversed it during these months we want plenty of firewood being brought in so it's loaded and ready to dump into here when they finish the harvest and want to come out here and and fill up all of these uh, charcoal piles okay so Marifa does not Marifa's gone but we just got in who Panutine is over here they do not take firewood that's what I was just about to ask onions are a mistake you guys are here there okay so you want to sell to us mm, no buckwheat what was that another well so salt iron ore honey mead mead were fine window glass and dried fish that's a no you want to buy from us clothes no Warm clothes, no. Sallow is a no. Onions come in next month. Carrots come in next month. Apples? We still have apples in the system. I'm going to leave 2,000 this time. So, three. Let's do 3,000. Deal. And bring in 3,000 apples. 
Got that right, right? 3,000. So that should leave us 22 apples. Okay. It's moving erratically. It's not all accounted for yet, apparently. Yeah, apples, still 37, 31. Okay, we'll figure that out. You are also asking for lime and beer. Do we have beer for sale? Not enough. I'll leave it there. Okay, you're done and walk away from that. Okay, so working on the last of the wells. No, that was all the wells. So we now have water over here and it's slowly building up. We did have water, well, probably just in the uh, industrial area. I know we had a well over a place like that. There's one. That's for both. There's a well in there. That's full. There's a well over in our town um, market over here. And that's full. So there's water in the area within reach. But this makes it more convenient. And our trees are all cleared out. We've got our, our carriage way through the building there. You get into this inner courtyard. And that is going to be an interesting structure when it's all done. Um, what else is going on? Working on this house here. Was thinking about building a cul-de-sac here. That's right. Charcoal 48. So we're kind of not moving any further on that. We are still... No, we're pretty much finished with all of the harvesting. We're still hauling some things in from the fields. So all of that is still calling for a lot of laborers. Though not as many as I would have guessed. This is all done. This is all done. Yeah, just this one left. So there's a lot of laborers available right now. Though some did hire back in September, but I think half of them didn't. So I'm kind of surprised we don't have more firewood being hauled out. Higher options. 140% of wages. So, other jobs stacked up around the whole town have queued up long before these. I'll, I'll work with that uh, string of logic, and that's probably what's in the way. Either way, we've got a good cushion of charcoal in the system right now. Um, let's see. One last little cul-de-sac of houses over here to kind of finish this area out. And it'll look... Somewhat complete, somewhat balanced. This little community, this in the center, this little community over here. I think it looks pretty good. So let's do something like this. Reverse you a couple times and see what that does. F1, bring you up a little. And you are uneven terrain. So I can rotate you how? Right like that. Okay. And you can come in. You can go out a little bit further. No need to get people to walk along the shoreline here. So that should be fine and just set you kind of right there. Now I could reverse you. Like that. Have you look out at the river like the other ones. But I think we're, we're okay to go here now. We've done that with these four. Time to have everybody else facing inward. So you're there, another one of you. These should build quickly because there are no trees involved. Um, how tight do we go here? Do I try to really get a circle out of it? Um, what if we went up here instead? Let's leave a pathway out of there, right here. So you come in. And you could shrink in. We could. That works. And. Take you in and you out. Maybe. And start our three triangles in here, three pie shapes. Hmm. Let's go a little further. Actually. Yeah, we can be tight because our road's right there. What was that? Village house completed right here, okay? So let's tighten these up a bit. Yeah, that's that works. Um, we have a well right here, so we don't need to get a well into this little void. Uh, broken a leg. 
Um, bring you down there. Enter. How's your family household? You guys are doing fine. You should survive that broken leg. Okay. And another one of these guys. And rotate you around further. Let's play with this a little bit. What if we take you quite wide at the end? And quite narrow. <laughs> yeah, this is going to get kind of wonky. Yeah, this should have been further up. Now, what if we went up like this? That could work. House, it needs to be inside. Okay, yeah. And there. I want to get two more in there. So you're a little bit further out like that. Though it would be nice to get a little more room in here. Can I rotate you any this way? No. Slightest touch and it dies. I'm trying to not get too narrow on the sides there. Either way, it's going to be rough. So let's take you just a little bit further that way. I'll split the difference. Right there. Okay. You're in. You are next. And rotate further. That's what I want. Something more like that. You're there. You're there. You're another little, tight little space. And even further this way. Uneven terrain. So you... Oh, I can get by with... Clear up there? Okay. I wouldn't have thought so. So, as well as, as far as touching the sides, that's pretty even spacing all the way around. Let's go with that. And then one more is going to get this weird little space in there. Do we give them a way out of here? Nah. They can go up through here and, and leave if they need to. I think. I think so. I don't... Well... Maybe I should future-proof this. I don't at this moment intend on doing any more another Ostrov series when this is done. I'm going to move on to other games. Like I've been watching uh, Let's Plays on Bellwright lately and wish that I hadn't missed that that 72-hour window of playtest. A lot of interesting series out there. But it's not impossible to think that I might come back and do another continuation of this same one as future updates come. So maybe I will leave a pathway with the idea that we could walk out into here and do something in this area next and then bridge back in. I suppose that's possible. All right, so in that case, you go about there. And one more into here. Rotate you around like that. Grab that one. And you're probably going to have to do something more like that. I don't know, that's pretty funky. <laughs> uh, is it even possible? Uneven terrain. Yeah. If you went there, and you went there, you could do this until this is too long. And then I've got a chance to rotate this around. Place is occupied. Oh, right there. And that was Barvinkove. And another house is done. So now we're working on the next row house. So you just need to widen up a little bit. And I guess work your way down till you touch right there. Okay. We're getting there. I can't spin you like that. I can't get you straight. So you're there or there. I guess you're just going to be kind of the weird house in the corner. Now, that means you could come back down, which gives us a little more room. Does that open up any possibilities? Kind of. That's about as close as we're going to get. There's a little blip right there. All right. So that gives us a road through if we need it. Kind of a cul-de-sac, though the entrance is not where I wanted it to be. But also a way out if we need to. Okay. 
So yeah, I will leave the series open-ended when I do finish it. That it's possible we could continue, get a little bit further out. But I'm already quite content. This is quite the the nice little little town we've got here. But yeah, who knows? Who knows what the future holds? Dare I sneak that any further over? Uh, alt. That is where it stops. Unless I come down here just a tiny little bit. Then... Still can't quite get there. And you're starting to look odd. Okay, so you're coming in to right there. And... I think that works. Okay. Let those go. That's right. I slowed it down, didn't I? <laughs> so we're into November. Oh, we missed October. Wow. Um... So the, everything came in. Slow it down. I want to think about all this. All the goods came in from the the uh, yards. And we've only got cabbage left here. Good variety over here. I wonder if I should rebalance this so they both get the same amount in. I wonder if there's any advantage to that or not. I don't know. I guess so long as this is hired, even if she's not present, taking a rest, they just come in and it, it's an automated process get their money drop off the goods so probably is no advantage to it you are collecting from anybody who doesn't quite reach the other ones probably not that important anymore but kind of like these just kind of hanging out so you are booze and we're missing one beer mead horelka so have we lost our horelka you not enough Potash. Okay, let's try the... There we go, the distillery. So, you are... One more person. Okay. Will... Three... So, in that case, seasonal hiring is off. Three people. And we'll bring in some more. So, stored over here. None. In here? 120. Okay. So I guess we are, we, we're selling it, and we're probably drinking it faster than, than we can make it. <laughs> so you guys have got a, about a hundred in family wealth. You do as well. This is one that was having a little trouble because we've lost someone, but we're still holding that hundred-ish mark. So our taverns are doing fine. And what else do we need to check up on? Fire or charcoal at this point, 59. So a few more have gone in over here. Ah, this side woke up. Now we're carrying it all in. Okay, that's happening now. Um, you are looking for your next... You're saying soil is exhausted, right. So next is... So that did not rotate? It didn't rotate. Let's do that. Okay. You are going to be Sunflower and you're going to be Fallow. And these two are going to rotate like that. So that's great. Over here, everything looks fine. Uh, these don't run, but they managed to get hired again. All right. Minus and minus. All right. These are here in case we ever do expand out this direction. That was an expansion that was planned and then abandoned. But I didn't see any point in tearing them all down. As long as I could keep myself from hiring them again. Um, otherwise, what else needs to be checked up on? How are the wagons doing? Now that I hear the clip-clop, clip-clop. We have one down. A horse needs tack. And we have tack. And... You... So I can't. I wish I could click and go right to that horse. So it's the first horse. So I take it it's this one. An ox died of old age. You are out of tack. So you're on your way back. Ox died of old age over here at this farm. Wow. That one's not that old. Okay. How's our 20 year old ox doing? 21 years old. <laughs> All right, you're 20 and you're 20. Uh, cows, cows, bulls. Cows, bulls. Let's grab you, ox, and take you to here. 
Okay, so that is done. And... Uh, turn you back on. How are we doing out over here? We got three runs going. Great. We've got 300 cow hides waiting. Okay, so we finally have three cow sheds fully operational. 20 or 19. And sending them in. So now we're getting to where we don't have enough tannery to keep up with it. Almost. I mean, this one's almost done. So it's not like these are ready to go bad. Maybe we're right at our limits now. I thought about adding cow to this one. We could. Let's do that. You're going there. Problem is, though, I want to make sure that... Hmm. That might be a problem, mixing the two. Yeah, that's premature. Sorry. You're gone. <laughs> um, just thinking, what if they start moving all the cow to here and now it's competing with the sheep, but this one isn't taking sheep? Or what if you do a 100 and you do 200 and then, you know, of, of cow and then the 50 of sheep lands over there? And yeah, I think this needs to be kept separate. I don't know. There's no priority system to say always do sheep first and always do cow first and just, you know, be available for overflow. So that might be a problem. Okay. Um, otherwise, so we saw sheep, we saw cow. Pigs are doing what right now? We've got plenty of foods. They're not rotting. And 29 of 20. How does that happen? Because a whole bunch get born at the same time. And they probably can't be slaughtered until they are of a certain age. Okay. So, do we really need to get rid of all of the the boars or something? I don't know. How do we slow that down? I'm not going to open up into a second one just to handle the overflow. So, that's not happening. Child has been born... We are at population of 520. Um, is there anything else that was population dependent? I don't think there was. Church is over here. Uh, graveyard is going to be a thing someday. We're still doing fine. But as the population grows, the number of folks eligible grows too. So yeah, at that point, we're back to the idea of the church on the hill and, the, and another graveyard over there. But that's something I was planning on growing to, and hmm. Anyway, charcoal now seventy-seven hundred. Yep, we'll we'll eventually hit a, a ceiling. There's just no room left to move charcoal, or none of these left to bring new firewood, and then it'll shut down. Then those folks will all be available to do other things. And Barvinkove, I just realized I never did go and look at you, did I? Oh, well, we got rid of our apples. That was one of the uh, most important things. And we didn't need to buy any more or sell any more of whatevers. You guys apparently got done. I never watched you, so you still have 58, 18, and wow, you still have a lot. So in the system for hops is 8,000. In the system for barley, 2,000. So... I think we're one farm too many. I think we're now overwhelming our system. So let's... Can I just follow you? I think I can. I don't think there's any problem with that. So take you down to nothing. Died of illness. Let's not take you down to nothing. Let's move these orders back in. Apply to all. And then take you down to nothing. And work our outer fields which are closer to the bridges closer less less travel time i like that better okay so two died of illness what was the other notice and balaclia is here so died of illness died of illness there were two of them that just died of illness oh boy we may be getting to that that point where all of our original citizens have all reached their peaks. Yeah. 
Suddenly the uh, no occupancy sign is going to go up soon. Um, let's get Balaklia taken care of. You're up here. Balaklia, there you are. So you want to sell to us things that we don't need. 4,400 stone. That's probably enough to do what we need to do. Potatoes don't actually have a lot. Okay, let's keep those. Flour should be... Eh, we're we'll probably getting to where we can handle a thousand flour. Yeah, sell you. Right there, flour. There you are. And what? Sallow is in the eights now. And have married and moved into a row house. Nice. Um... Sallow, 800. Let's wait till we're in the 1,000 mark, then we'll cut it in half. So clothes are still on the 5s, 4s. Textiles, leathers, how are we? Let's... You want to buy from us, so that doesn't do any good. Metal parts, horse tack, honey. We have brought in a lot of honey. So let's get rid of half of it. Let's say 1,500. Deal. And bring 1,500 honey over here. And we're done. We're done. Okay. And where am I? 36. We fired these guys back up again. That's right. These three. Because they were still willing to bring stuff in and out. Here's 9,000. Oh, that There's 9,000 there. You have none. You have 10. Nobody's working here now. I shut these down. But they're still using it as, as storage. What do we have in the system right now? Firewood, 103,000. So these are probably no longer necessary. This system is working. So I guess it's time to start calming this stuff down. Um, sure, let's turn you off. Turn you off. And you. And they'll eventually grab all that out of there. And we'll just leave these alone for now. You're still up and running. Did we get storage over here? Did... Not... Oh, well, here, here comes some. Yeah, there's some coming and going. Yeah, it, it's moving in and out. Okay. Which is what it's supposed to be. Bringing it in, taking it back out, take it up to a... Where am I? The triangle. I always have to find the triangle, then go this way. But uh, in and out to use at the blacksmith which has 3400 of uh, the blacksmith has 1800 salt works has 800 who else around here uses charcoal i think it's it over here you guys use charcoal and you got a thousand and we had shifted some other things out of charcoal into firewood and that's fine except it takes i think five times as much firewood was it five to one? Uh, no, you are only firewood. Yeah, so not you, the ashery. Um, you're the soap. Ash comes to rotate this way. Ash comes out of here. Okay, so you were... Oh, uh, let's see here. Bark... Looking for... There's no charcoal in here. Alright, so it's not you either. Is it the distillery that I'm thinking of can take either or? So... Two... I don't see the word charcoal or firewood in there. <laughs> we get to choose right there. So you and I, you choose charcoal. Okay. Um... What was that last thing? Charleston Born. You are the glass works. Choose. Charcoal or firewood. So let's go back to 1,000 charcoal and zero firewood. Okay. And not enough potash to even be running. Which is a problem from... Where am I here? Rotate. We had slowed this all down. Not enough lye to start potash. Okay, so lie. 
Do something more like that. And your other one is over here? Soap works. You, you. There, there. That's where it's hidden. Okay. Oh, you just maxed out. I never did change you. Is there a problem with that? There's 5,000. Let's go for it. Okay. Uh, what I didn't need, though, is what was needed to make the lye. But I need lye to make potash. Yeah. So there's lye there. There's no lye over here. Okay. Let's kick you guys up another notch. Three, zero for those months. That's fine. And you, three, zero for those months. Okay. A little more emphasis on that so that we can get glassworks. School, right there. We can get more potash in the system. And the, you needed more glaze. Glaze, died of old age. Yeah, we're, we're about to see a die off, aren't we? Um, glaze. Right down there, still 5,000. Okay. Yeah, we've seen an awful lot of activity here. Just this episode. This whole back row. Although there's still these two over here. So we've got, we've got still some cushion. But it's time to start thinking about that again. And where that's going to be. I, I wanted it up here. They don't seem to visit. That doesn't seem to be a thing. There really should be people milling around in here visiting their, their 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 lost loved ones. Since that isn't a thing, then it could be off in the distance. But realistically, was it is it banished that they would go no, it wasn't banished. There was a game where one of their their activities that made them you know I don't know, brought their morale up was to go and visit a grave. I'm trying to think which game that was. I wonder if that will be a thing eventually. That's why the big grand entrance here. But, yeah. Gotta think about that. This is where I wanted it to be. Somewhere, probably right in here with the church. Hate to just put it right up on the hillside, but it might be kind of interesting to see grave markers going up the slope. I can kind of picture that. Huh. Well... Probably not something to decide right now, but it is something to be considering. Okay. So I am in that 45-ish range. And probably getting to a point of calling this one done. Let's see here. 11 logs, 2 guys, 3 guys, 4 guys, 5 guys. So now we're, we've got a month on, which we're going to fill everything up here. Balaklia, let's go and check you out. Blockly. We just did you? We just did you. We, now there's nothing that you need. So it was Barvinkove that we missed. Uh, and Dukachi we haven't seen yet this time. So with that, is there anything else I need to really get into? How did this go? That one finished. That 300 has left and is already in the system right here. So that was fine. And tanning over here. We're really slowing down the tanning. We are. It was 150 out of 200, so we had no no worry about rotting it. But and the number of sheep, 30 of 30, so nothing's being called. At this point, I would say let's not call anyone and grab the wool off of one more. Wool is something we check up on. Down to 400 left over. That's better. So we're starting to clean up our our extras. So yeah, I think we're at a, we're at a good balance now of workers. And, and number of months on. Okay. So, one last look. We had so much hops going. Three of 250s. We could kick it up to more like 300s. Three 300s. Okay. And three, that means three... Does that mean three workers? Like it does the tannery? I don't know. Not certain how that works. Turn you off. CB3 all the time. And... What was that last message? Row house is done. Let's go take a peek into there. There we go. But it's winter, so it's hard to really see all the details. Everything's white. 
And you do not have a store in you. Correct. And we're all vacant. So we're not calling for people. It's not filling up quickly. We don't have a lot of, of young couples and getting to marry. And, oh, it just dawned on me what I'm looking at. That's all of them. Oh, okay. So that is our row house. Now we need to come up with some decor. Uh, completed a carpentry. Let's go ahead and transfer the settings over here. Carpentry, new family settling into town. You, let's take you guys down to two and one. And those months and apply to all. Yeah. And then that was it. Over here, these numbers work out fine. Apply that to all. Okay. So now we've got the ability to repair wagons and carts from three different locations around the map. Yeah. A little more evenly distributed. And you guys, wagons are doing fine, and wagons are doing fine. Carts are doing fine. There, there, there. Yep, and you guys are filling up with logs. You're already at 18. Yep, and you're sitting there doing nothing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to call this one done here. And I'll, it may be a couple of days before I get another episode out. I just thought I'd jump in here in the middle of this, this, this break that I took. So, catch you later, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.